action, a genre that never gets old. It's been ages and the genre hasn't toned down one bit. From humble beginnings like Dragon Ball to more than just a couple of titles taking over the world whenever a new episode comes out, it's safe to say that action has been the face of anime since the Kenshiro days. Every year brings forth its own share of action titles and today, we're here to reminisce what this year had to offer. So, let's sit back, relax and count down to the best action anime this year had to offer. Yuki Yuna is a Hero, The Great Monkai Chapter Yuki Yuna was back this year and fans weren't disappointed by this new installment one bit. From that unexpected start to the way things are going, it's safe to say that the title is giving the rest of the lineup some tough competition. With the year being 298 and the search for the next potential hero underway, it won't be a surprise that a lot of characters are in line to hog away all the glory for themselves. I'm pretty sure everyone had their favorite locked in from the get-go, but seeing Karen win over Mabuki, it's only obvious that she's enraged at the decision as much as a lot of fans are. But it isn't long before Mabuki's resolve is tested yet again, this time being the head of Sentinels and right after her fleet comes across an unpredictable predicament that almost wipes them out, Mabuki is there to make sure she plays her part while proving what it truly means to be a leader. The Great Jahi Will Not Be Defeated <laughs> In case you're a Sato Mal fan and can't help but get anxious since the sequel isn't dropping anytime soon, then Jahi is the perfect alternative you can watch in the meantime. With the story being so similar to the Demon Lord we all know and love with the only difference being this magical girl popping up all of a sudden, out of the blue, it's just wonderful seeing the girl be a complete and utter novice at the most ordinary task that daily, everyday life has to offer. Get ready to see some unexpected situations and uncalled encounters since being unpredictable and unexpected are the two words that describe the show the best. Will the Demon Realm be restored with Jahi attaining the throne and monarchy once again or is Earth the new home for the demon after all? Let's find out. The Edaten Deities Know Only Peace <laughs> It's pretty shameful when you're a mere shadow of what your ancestors used to be. With the Edaten totally wiping out the demon race from the face of the planet, things were looking good for humanity and it sure looked like their days in the dark were finally coming to an end. With no more demons around, it's only natural that the modern day Edatons know nothing about the demon race that still strikes fear into the hearts of anything that moves. Now Ren, the only surviving Edaton from those ages when that war was fought, it's only obvious that he assumes the role of the Sensei and teaches the new and upcoming stars all there is to fighting demons. One would ask why it's necessary since there aren't any demons walking around, but it's never too safe to know, is it? Especially in an anime where the plot and setting are revolving in a way like this. Fina, Pirate Princess Judging from the start and the first couple of episodes, it's safe to say that Fina Pirate Princess is 2021's entry that would make you cry for sure. It's just heartbreaking seeing Fina in that situation where she had nothing to do with it. In 2019, we saw Thorfinn in those shoes and this year Fina had it even harder, doing anything and everything to survive, to see the light of another day. But all's not lost since kindness and empathy, humanity itself is still here in this world we live in. Getting out of harm's way with some help, now finally reunited with Yukimaru, the childhood friend she had lost all those years ago, it looks like Fina's life might have changed for the better. But they have a lot to catch up on, and with his deceased father having left a clue she can't help but be curious about, she's taken it upon herself to pursue what her father left behind. Let's see her through. Tsukimichi, Moonlit Fantasy <laughs> It was totally hilarious seeing Makoto get trolled like that from the get-go to be honest. I mean, who goes to meet a goddess and have everything snatched away from them? Is that even a goddess anymore? Now Makoto has nothing and is at the mercy of anything that's not human. 
but Faith's been too kind to him. And now having his abilities awaken and come out of the slumber all of a sudden, it's just natural that all these other beings and deities would be attracted towards him, trying to get on his good side and everything. But human communication is still a big no, and with Makoto now in the situation to do so, he, with the help of the allies he's gathered all this time, aims to build a society where they can all coexist. It's just the perfect show where all these species come together and bring forth such a wonderful story that you can't help but watch it over and over again. Star Wars Visions Your lightsaber blade is red! It's just great seeing Star Wars get the love it deserves since day one. With different anime studios coming together to bring us such a crossover, it's hard to miss out on these episodes be it you're an anime fan or not. With 9 different episodes and 9 different studios, the show has a lot to offer and with the story reminiscent of the Star Wars universe that we've been a fan of since day one, Star Wars Visions is a total treat to be honest. The show's totally out thanks to being an ONA, so it's the perfect time to just get on the binging and be done with it in one go, cause a rewatch might be necessary after your first run of the show. Make sure you get your Star Wars homies to watch it as well. How a Realist Hero Rebuilt the Kingdom Being a civil servant is one hell of a job to be honest, but when you've lost the only family you had in this world, just what's there to live for anymore? Kazuya Soma was in the middle of just that when he summoned to another world all of a sudden, that when the kingdom is at war as well. Just what a time to pop up out of the blue, right? But when he's being offered as mere livestock, that's when the guy steps up and makes sure his voice is heard loud and clear. We've heard about people teleporting in these fantasy universes and setting things right by magic or just straight up brute force, but have you ever heard of a character trying to fix it all using the power that the human brain has to offer? Kazuya would show you all there is to it and with administrative skills and level headedness being his biggest weapon in the game, things are going to be a bit hard. Eden <laughs> One of the most heartwarming stories we had all year, it won't be wrong to say that Eden made us see a side to machines and robots that most anime don't tend to focus on or shed any light on. Set in the future where nothing but scrap metal walks the face of the planet, there aren't any humans in sight. That is until one day we have our own Sour being awakened from her slumber by some machines. Being in utter disarray as to what has just happened, both sides want nothing to do with each other. But empathy still exists, both for humans and the machines, and with the robos deciding to raise a child as their own, we might be having a setting anime has never seen before even once. See for yourself how this story unfolds in a mecha Xanadu that's looking super crisp to be honest. Vivi Fluorite Eyes Song Without a doubt, one of the best titles we had all year, Vivi, Fluorite's Eyes Song isn't a title that needs any introduction. The way the series incorporated music into the time travel concept was that out of the box idea that we've been waiting for all year since returning shows have been on a rampage as of lately. I mean, Vivi already won her hearts by those performances, grabbed so many fans in a couple of seconds at most but getting to see a whole different side to her as she's to become a part of the operation to prevent the extinction of the human race. AI and music come in full swing as the anime delivers a story that's so rich, so real, that it's hard not to vote it as the best anime of the year so far. The animation does total justice to the whole theme of the show, and it's definitely a title that we want to see a lot more from. 86 <laughs> With The Undertaker having stolen every other girl's heart in a heartbeat, who can we crown that number one spot but 86 itself? Seeing the mystery behind the disappearing people unfold as the 86 tell us tales that are totally unexpected and make the good side look like total pigs contrary to popular belief. The Black Sheep, the developing Bond and the unforgettable past add such depth to the series that it's almost impossible to write it off as any other mecha title since the show's too good to be honest. 
the sequels ongoing and with the show already having hit everyone's radar it's going to go down with a bang and return with that third season where things would finally get going it's always been that light novel adaptation that we never got and finally getting it in such a perfect manner is just every other fan's dream come true